Rollins and Joe I thought was pretty good. I, I like oh, the I end. glossed over that before. Yeah, yeah. Rollins and Joe, that was another good match. I thought the ending was good. So I had a I had a big revelation. Sean, you're going to like this, right? All right. Yeah. Uh, so I'm watching Rollins and Joe, and then I compare it to the main event, right? Rollins and Joe is probably a better match, right? But the but the crowd was, you know, they like Rollins, right? They cheer for Rollins, but they're not, like, super hot for him. The main event is Braun Strowman and Roman, and the crowd was fucking great balls of fire hot, which we'll talk about later. They were fucking hot as fuck for that, right? And it just made me think, man, I'm just thinking, like, obviously, you know, a, a wrestling guy, you know, like a pure wrestling fan, kind of would probably like a guy like Rollins, you know, I'll say Tyler Black because they know him as that. They would like him more than Roman, but it's just it comes down to it when people bitch and, and cry about like Rollins should have the take a drink, Rollins should have the fucking the world and guys like that and whatever, and like they get mad that Roman's pushed to the top. Here's the fucking rub: uh, Roman is getting the best reaction, whether you like it or not. You know, Roman's and getting the, the reaction. Was fucking fire, huh? Roman's getting the reaction. Yeah, exactly. not not a good one, not a bad one, but the reaction. <laughs> and he had a match with Braun Strowman who. You know, it's just big muscle guy, but he's been really good and everyone likes him. And look, the main event, everybody was into it. And if anyone bitches and moans about like these other guys and not being at the top and get Roman needs to go away, it's like he's not going to go away. Everyone cares about what's going on with Roman. So right. if you don't want Roman there, then be quiet. Everyone's so obsessed with booing him. You're just feeding into the energy. You know what I mean? You're feeding it's- the beast. So Listen, just shut got- the fuck up then. If you don't, you know, and and it's great. And the mat, the main event was. I like the main event. The main event was good. Uh, they did exactly what they needed to do. And, bu- and, and so I mean, it's people. You know, it's the John Cena effect. You know, it's like people in the chat Cena room said in a promo a while ago. Like people aren't chan- people like Strowman, but they're not chanting. You know, let's go Strowman. They're chanting, let's go Roman. Roman Thomas. Exactly. Yeah. And I he always said that and he gets a reaction out of everybody he's in the ring with. Well, always they um. The people in our group were were. Uh, we thought I thought I was crazy, and I think you guys are probably on the same page as me when I said Strowman's winning this match. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. And people yeah, thought I was yeah. nuts, and they were like, "There's no way he's winning clean." And it's like he's right. injured Roman Reigns. He's not full it, strength, it, yeah. and he's he's fighting like the the baddest motherfucker on the roster right now. Like he's he, if he it would just make no sense if he won. And he already, great, and sells, also great solid job by Roman the whole match. Yeah, too. of course, because he he is a great seller. Roman's, and not only that too, Roman's a very talented match, worker. He won that match in February, right? Fastly. So like, why would he lose? Like, why would he like Strowman that is lose it again? I don't right. know why anyone would think Roman would win this because I mean that sounds like the John Cena you know circa oh four to fucking yeah. If it was Cena, he would have won ten years ago. Right, but but the thing is, if you building up Strowman to be this fucking beast, right? And if he fucking murders Roman Reigns to the point that he was gone from Raw for weeks, he comes back selling, like, his ass off with bandage up, and he's all fucked up, and Roman still, like, managed to pull it out and still beat Strowman, then what the fuck is Strowman? The only thing I didn't like was after... um, Because the beatdown continued after the match. And then when they went in... It was fucking hilarious. It was, but then they went into Raw talk, and... They were putting him in the ambulance again, and they, they had to do the I'm not finished with you again. I called it I'm not finished with you part two. And then, and and then I, they, uh, did, they did the Sean Stasiak uh, gimmick where he just runs into something. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, nice ball. Roman left the well, – well, first of all, the, at the end of the main event, he fucking got – he beat him down with the, with the steps. Yeah. And they did the old internal bleeding gimmick, right? Yeah, which I didn't see, by the way, but apparently you could see the referee give him the capsule and, like, he, like, fumbled with it before we got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I missed that, though. He he did the, you know, the, the, here's, I always say about Roman where it's like he hasn't done anything to make anyone like him. And that's why a lot of people, you know, boom or whatever. Like, I feel like he never endeared himself. And I think. I like him because, you know, he got fucked and he he still he walked out on his own. That's the shit, you know. I'd be a hypocrite not to like him for that because that's what Foley does. Or Foley did back in the day that made me love Foley. So right. that was cool. Well, no, our, our and then be- when he went- our beef has never been Roman Reigns. It's been, they don't know how to book the fucking the guy. Of him. Yeah. yeah. The of him. They're like, here's your hero, everybody. And we're like, what does he do? And it's like, I mean, he's got, he's got the vest. It's pretty cool. And he's got, he's got the hair. And it's pretty cool, too, exactly. right? And we're like, yeah. yeah. And it's like. Hey, he, like does, he, he does this. He was into the ambulance, and he ran. And then, I'm not finished with you, like, really fast. He said it and then broke the door of the shitty ambulance. Yeah. It was one of those little shitty van ones. 
And they, of course, conveniently had a stack of empty boxes placed up to the fucking ceiling for him to, like, crash. That's where I keep them, yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. (laughs) Keep them there. The big Uh, sweaty bacon. But it was a good match. It was a good match. And, of course, my gripe still is always going to be that Strowman should should have been the guy wrestling. He beat the Undertaker at this point. He's the unstoppable one. Like, Strowman continues to be everything that Roman Reigns should be and should have been. Right. But we'll see what happens. I mean, you know, this is – so we thought for a while that – and I guess it still might happen that Roman Reigns and and Bray Wyatt was going to be kind of that on and off feud that goes on kind of forever throughout their career. I think they're kind of building that same thing with Roman Reigns and Strowman at this point. Like I think that after this whole it's too iteration to of the feud is done, I think it's going to be uh, it, it's going to go away, obviously, and then you're going to cut back to the, this again in a year later. Do you think we come back to it with the roles reversed? Oh, that would the, the, really they hope. flip alignment, like one's baby face, one's heel. Yeah, even though like I no, I don't Roman know. is super baby. Well, I think any. No, I don't because I again I don't think that Roman Reigns is ever turning heel. It's ever. I feel Unless like if WWE drastically changes course of the way they run their company, then no. I mean, this could be one of those things that happens like five or ten years from now. I mean, like that's that has been a hallmark of almost all great feuds is that they the, the feud remains even though they flip the alignment of the two wrestlers. Do you... I would love to see in two years from now, like they they have no interaction with each other at all. And out of nowhere, Braun Strowman just comes back at Roman Reigns. I'm not finished with you yet, and they just restart feuding again. So, do you do you like the fact that that they that they've been doing this now for forever? That because think about WWF back in the way back when, where it was Bruno was a babyface on top for fucking ever, right? And it was just from era of baby to baby, like it would be Bru- it was Bruno, Pedro Morales had a little cup of coffee, uh, Bob Backlund, right? And then it was Hogan, and then, but after the Hogan era, the new generation. Guys were, you know, the top guys would flip alignments here and there. Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, stuff like that. Do you feel that it's kind of like, I don't know, like, how do you feel about Cena becoming the top guy? He stayed baby this whole time, and now it seems like, like you just said, Sean, you're you're convinced that Roman's never going to turn heel. So it seems like they're just doing that again, like going back to that idea, that formula of just like you find a top baby and he stays baby forever. Um like, do you think that that's good for the company? Like, no. Is, is that, yeah. No, it's awful. No. It's, it's a death knell almost. I know that you can easily look to Cena and say, okay, clearly that's not true. But I think that clearly that in is this true. Day and age. Look, look, if any, most people would say look to Cena and tell me and say to me that's not true. I say look to Cena and say it's definitely true. Because think about how, how more popular the company would have been that's had the, Cena changed alignments yeah. and elevated his character, his story, made people more invested um, and just made people proud to watch the product, and him and, and John Cena in general, the, all this time. So yeah, they they kind of plateaued with Cena all these years, which I guess for them was fine. But uh, turning him heel and then in the process creating the big baby face to rise up and face him, you're, I think they're missing the boat. I feel like that would be the rebuttal to us guys like us, and they would say like, "Well, what do you know? We've been doing fine, you know." You know, yeah, you've been but, doing but it's fine. Like, but you could do better. Yeah, exactly. You know what exactly. I mean? You could have, you could have a lot more. Because ca- how many fucking casual people do we say on the street uh, that I, you know, who are, you know, and I hate the whole, like, hey, it's not the answer to error. Like, whatever. That answer error wasn't that great anyway. It was great for other reasons, but bad in other ways. But uh, I think a lot of those motherfuckers would be watching and they would have the fucking ridiculous rate. They would have all these extra people watching. It's like, oh, my God, like, you know, there's all this other interesting shit going on. You should still watch, you know. I agree, and and it's also it's it's a simple word of mouth thing I think too, and this is just my opinion, but uh, you know during the Attitude Era, you know whatever, um, you had awesome stuff happening, so you were kind of happy to tell your friends, hey, you got to watch this, this is pretty cool right yeah. now, it's happening, and during the Cena era, um, yeah, it's quote unquote fine like we just said, but nobody's rushing out and telling their friends, hey, you got to watch this, yeah, and you're not building your product. And I think the same thing is is pretty much as much as I love Roman Reigns, it's going to happen with Roman Reigns too. He's just never going to turn heel because they just put that piece of the puzzle right where Cena leaves and Roman comes in. You know, they've got to sell the T-shirts, they've got to do the Make a Wishes, which are fine, but it's not it's just not the same wrestling product that anybody thinks they're ever getting back again. 